Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Alchemical Hydra. Now, you can only kill the Alchemical Hydra if you are assigned a Hydra Slayer task. So starting with a little over 4,100 Slayer points, let's see how long it takes to get our first Hydra task. Really glad I recently did 20 hours of point boosting. That definitely helped out for this specific video. And it looks like I only had to spend about 120 Slayer points to receive our first Hydra task of the video. I personally have only ever used range at the Alchemical Hydra, but a lot of people are known to use the Dragon Hunter Lance and use melee, but uh, the gear for my specific setup was Missouri with a Dragon Hunter crossbow and a Twisted Buckler. Alongside that, I was using Ruby Bolts Enchanted and a Blowpipe for special attack in case I needed any HP. The inventory layout is two Divine Range Potions, one Antidote, five Prayer Potions, and the rest just food alongside this my imbued heart which definitely isn't necessary and a construction cape to teleport home as well as a rune pouch filled with high aux which is actually the first time that i've ever brought high aux to alchemical hydra now it's definitely been a very long time since i've last killed the alchemical hydra really haven't visited this boss much ever since my loot from a thousand video i think i've killed him like maybe post 200 times if that so what you're seeing on screen is a rough uh first kill for me i did take a little bit of damage but for most of this video i didn't take much damage at all and i was able to average about five to seven kill trips every inventory and this was also credited to high alking any drop that was able to be high out and everything else i really just picked up and stored in the bank here is my current collection log on screen for the alchemical hydra a little over a thousand kills and i've already received multiples of everything except the jar of chemicals and the alchemical hydra heads so you won't see a pet drop during this video but uh definitely a lot of combat achievements being completed so hopefully i'll be able to complete all of them there is a decent amount of them an overall grind of 10 hours of alchemical hydra should take you about two assignments roughly unless you decide to use the bracelets of slaughter but i didn't want to do that uh, because i had plenty of slayer points to spare and with the remaining points that i will have at the end of this video i will be instantly working on loot from 10 hours of abyssal sire so if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe and don't miss any of the episodes of the 10 hours series. It's a pretty nice uh, series to run while I'm still working on ending in zero, so stay tuned for that. As you can see, most of my kills here were about two minutes or a little under that or a little over that. Uh, with this setup, that's what you can definitely expect. I'm not sure how faster it is if you use a Twisted Bow or if you use a Dragon Hunter's Lance here, but overall, I'm really happy with uh, what the uh, numbers were showing for me, and uh, I was picking up every bone, so maybe I would be banking more than the average person here, because I do know that some people like to bring the Bone Crush your necklace and just get prayer XP. But I do find a decent amount of value in the bone, so I wanted to make sure to pick up all of them. And the only item that I didn't out, which I don't know why I didn't do it, but uh, it was the golden mystic rope top and rope bottom. Something about it, you know? I just wanted to pick those up and put them in the bank. So other than that, I did high alk everything, which was the rune items as well as the dragon items and all of the battle staves and everything else. A little over an hour into the video, and I did receive my first hard clue scroll. You can definitely expect to get uh, hard and elite clues from the alchemical hydra although i didn't uh, get a single elite clue in 10 hours but i did get multiple hard caskets so we'll definitely be saving those for the end of the video you can also get brimstone keys here because uh, obviously konar assigns the task and you can always get those keys if you're using konar so we'll save that towards the end as well so we have two different things to look forward to after the price check i did actually get a pretty strange drop about two hours in and this was a rune 2h sword which uh, according to the wiki it's either one and two thousand or one in four thousand but nevertheless i just high alked it i really forgot how easy alchemical hydra is compared to other bosses and you really don't need to pay as much attention as you do at say zolra or vorkath as you can see i was doing a uh, ardone roof course on the iron man even high alking while doing so just because of the alchemical hydra there's so many parts during the fight where you really don't have to pay too much attention so i actually was able to get 91 to 92 agility from start to finish while doing this video on my main and doing agility on on the Iron Man. And here's our first drop, this being the Hydra's Eye 1 and 181. Just need to obtain the Hydra's Fang and the Hydra's Heart, and then you can combine all three to create a Brimstone Ring. That'll be uh, some nice extra profit if we do manage to complete a full ring in one 10-hour session here, but I don't know. The odds of that are pretty bad, but you never know. You never know what can happen as it goes for RNG. And there is our second Brimstone Key in the bank. But as it goes for the other drops that you can get here, of course, 
course you can obtain the pet that is one in three thousand the jar of chemicals which is what i was looking for for the collection log is one in two thousand and the alchemical hydra heads is one in 256 other than that you can also expect the hydra's claw which is one in a thousand and one at a current price of 34 mil but i've already seen two of those so i doubt i'll be lucky enough to get a third during this one however i did receive my second drop at kc 1143 which was the hydra's fang now i just need the hydra's heart and i can complete a brimstone ring from scratch still obtaining multiple combat achievements one of these days i'm going to do a combat achievement video hopefully i won't have them all completed before i do so but we'll see i was also able to obtain a new personal best of one minute and 39 seconds which uh, means that i skipped quite a few things during this kill and the dragon hunter crossbow is better than ever i know i've said this before but i will say the alchemical hydra is one of my favorite bosses it's just been so long since i killed him i almost forgot all about him but wow what an easy laid back boss all the range xp that is adding up and you can also melee him too if you don't uh, feel like ranging i'd say the only downside is that it is a task only boss but that's also a good thing you know you don't want too many people camping it but uh yeah i mean i really wish it was off task i'd love to kill this thing all day if i was making some gp i just find it more laid back than most other bosses that uh, is similar in the gp per hour that you can expect here and yeah i mean just so many rare drops that you can obtain hopefully i don't see the dragon throwing axe or the dragon knife drops though because they're not really worth too much just about 175k for the throwing axes and a little over 1.5 mil for the knives but that is a one in 2000 roll if you do manage to get that so you can definitely get other things that are worth a lot more than that for example one drop that i haven't seen in quite a while is the hydra leather which is one in 514 at a current price of 7 mil you really can't compare 7 million to 34.3 million though can you look at that ladies and gentlemen our third hydra's claw in what is that 1220 kc we are just incredibly lucky at this boss uh, i mean it's not a collection log slot granted but it is a ton of gp and with the way the economy's going these days my bank is up and down every single day i wake up so that'll definitely help the value uh, average it out a little bit so i will take it and i'll actually probably buy a dragon hunter's land so just create one with it so yeah it's one of the few items i don't have so i'll definitely be purchasing that at the end of the video and i ended up finishing my task of 181 hydras with about two hours left to go two brimstone keys and 209k slayer xp let's see how long it'll take to get assigned the second hydra task i got pretty lucky in the very first one just spending uh, about 100 points or so or maybe it was about 120 but uh either way this time you know it sped up these clips because it actually did take a little bit more uh points this time around 350 points spent for our second and final alchemical hydra task and we interrupt this hydra video to address the comment that received more thumbs up than i think any comment ever has in the history of my videos the answer to this suggestion is yes i will be doing this idea but i cannot make 10 hour videos of something like killing cows or training fishing while fishing shrimp it's gonna have to be at least five different activities done for 10 hours with a total of 50 hour playtime put into one video so this is a very long term project and i already play on two accounts as it is so all i can say is i will do this idea just give me about a month now we return to the alchemical hydra loot from 10 hours has been completed as you can see no collection log slots obtained but we did get that beautiful hydra's claw and now it is time to price check just in the gp from all of the alks and coin drops i have a very nice stack of 8.4 mil and then we have three mil worth of hydra bones another three mil worth of dragon bones and so much more gp in all these items so the very first price check comes out to be 24 mil and that is a total of 223 kills in 10 hours and now it's time for the second price check i was unfortunately unable to complete that brimstone ring but maybe i will in the future either way though we did walk away with a claw which is an additional 34 million gp and now it is time to open up the three hard clue scroll caskets as you can see i got a master clue from the very first one so we'll go ahead and do that and then the second one about 30k really bad and what a shock another master clue from the third one and from from the master clue caskets the very first one 291k 312 overall and from 313 we did receive 537k 85k from the first brimstone key following that 71k from the second which means we made about 1.1 mil combined extra from the clue scrolls and the brimstone keys overall loot from 10 hours of alchemical hydra comes out to be 59 mil supply cost is 4 mil so 55 mil profit uh took about 500 slayer points to 
do this video and I obtained a lot of Slayer XP and a decent amount of range XP. So now we'll just quickly check out the Rune Light Loot tab to confirm all of this. And that is about it. So if you have the Slayer level to kill the Alchemical Hydra, make sure to never miss out on an opportunity. As soon as you get assigned that task, always do the boss. Never do the small ones. They don't really drop anything at all. Look at the screen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surprised too. I actually tried it out. You might see a video of that in the future. A huge thank you to all the YouTube channel members for your monthly support. It does help out a lot. And a big thank you to you guys for watching today's video. Special shout out to Matthew Stivers and Swan Positive. And until next time, I'll see you soon, guys. Stay safe. Mr. No Sleep, out.